What's up guys, Nolan here, and today we are going through the insane lore jackpot that was the finale of the raid series, which is the live action mini series that covers Tarkov lore. Obviously this is nothing but spoilers, so if you haven't watched episode 5 yet, click the link in the description and come back after if you want. If you haven't watched any of the episodes, then you're really missing out, I suggest that you watch them all in order, and those can be found in the description of episode 5, that is again linked below here. Now that you've been warned, here is the spoiler filled video. We start right off the bat with what exactly was in that terror group case. The bear and Yusek, who I am dubbing the PMC buddies, confirm that it is details and documents on classified biological experiments from terror group and that Tarkov is just the beginning of their unleashed controlled chaos. So obviously terror group is up to some bad stuff and the documents in the case either connect them or is otherwise just very important to them. Again here emphasizing the future of karma, the bear and Yusek work together to stop the ambush that was waiting for them with the traitor. There was some confusion here when we could only hear the bear talking on the radio while the USEC didn't talk at all when actually he was communicating those radio static pings that we heard was him he just must have been too close to that sniper so instead of talking he would just click the radio in order to communicate that's just some FYI for those of you guys who haven't done any stealth missions in video games before so they killed the traitor and his guards who were going to ambush them and got a blue labs key card off of him the blue card for those who don't know opens the quarantine room in labs with the airlocks and loads of meds in there, which is very similar to the black key card room, but the airlocks are different from both rooms. I assume there's a significance to that, but I'm not sure what. In the raid series, this blue key card got them through that checkpoint at the terminal, aka the military base next to Shoreline, so they quickly made their way over there to escape Tarkov. However, once the other trader realized that his buddy was dead, he called someone and told them that the PMC buddies were on their way to the terminal with the case. He specifically referenced it as their lost luggage even. Immediately this would put either terror group or USEC in mind as it was their property and on top of that for those who don't know USEC does work for terror group in terms of lore so in real time we thought he called terror group or he called USEC once the PMC buddies get through terminal they get their gear stripped and go past a large map on the wall I haven't looked at it too thoroughly but I assume it's a map of terminal it looks the same as a lot of other maps that you'll find in game but it's clearly not of any of the maps that we currently have and it was up on the wall in terminal so I don't know why it would be anything else Another thing that's interesting here is that there were terror group employees at the terminal checkpoint who see that they have the case but don't take it from them. They only take the blue key card. So they are somehow not involved or at least not in the know of what is going on with that case even though they are clearly terror group. So this was either an oversight from the producers of the raid series or this is something actually really important which we'll have to wait and see in game. Immediately after they enter the terminal all hell breaks loose with snipers taking out the tower guards and mortars falling on the whole area. Area. During that time, one of the Russian regulars mentioned scavs don't have mortars, which started the guessing in all of our minds. They were also very specific about these mortars being 120 millimeter mortars for some reason, so I think that might be a little bit more foreshadowing that that's going to be coming to the game at some point, but that's just me. Soon after that, we see the first glimpse of what we are dubbing the Black Division. Thanks to the Reddit user Young Polviet over on the Reddit, who very quickly linked this, and it completely breaks this wide open. This group of soldiers were extremely professional, used all all of the same top-end NATO gear and spoke English. According to Contract Wars lore, which is Tarkov lore, the Black Division was the best of the best in elite PMC unit. And these guys definitely looked elite and they were definitely wearing black. Directly from BSG themselves, the Black Division is a third party with the most powerful PMC unit. So with all of that put together, I think it's safe to say that we learned about our new NPC faction coming to escape from Tarkov, the Black Division. Some small details I noticed was that they dropped their backpacks before getting in the fights. So this was a nod at stamina, albeit they left them in an active minefield, which to detour a little bit was an interesting route to take into that base, unless for some reason the mines weren't down yet, I guess. Maybe after after this, the Russians debriefed and they thought they should put some mines down so it doesn't happen again. I don't know. There was a PKM being used with a Scorpion backpack. If you haven't seen my future gun videos, this is planned to come into the game with a scav boss at some point in the future. There was some emphasis on bullet penetration, which is something that BSG are working on improving. The PMC buddies hid behind a concrete wall and were shielded from the heavy machine gun, while the Black Division squad that hid behind a truck weren't so lucky. Although the guy behind the engine block might have limped away. This is the exact 
exact example that Nikita has used in the past for the future of bullet penetration in Escape from Tarkov. Some of the Black Division were using M203 grenade launchers, which should show up at some point. They had access to very heavy explosives, which are the same story. And last but not least, the AT4 rocket launcher that again should be in game at some point along with the RPG and a couple other launchers. There was also one very key point on top of all of this, and that was that they were working with the scavs. The bear even said it in the episode. During the chaos, the Black Division blew a huge hole through the wall and a scav army waiting outside tried to run through it. I assume that all of that was the Black Division trying to cover up the fact that they were there as anyone asking questions would just see a failed scav attack, but who knows? I'm pretty sure that's a nod at just how connected or how intelligent this PMC group actually is. Either way, I hope they remember to pick up their backpacks because they left them in a pretty open spot and I bet one of those scavs might have gotten cold feet, so they might be down a backpack or two. The entire five episode raid series is clearly a precursor to the lore of Escape from Tarkov, which is one of the goals that BSG has for this year, getting the lore in game. It was very well made and will always be at the top of my list for live action video game content along with Halo and Assassin's Creed. When all put together, I would have to triple down and say that the features depicted in this raid series will in some way or another make their way into the game. The entire series was literally written and produced by Nikita Bayanov, the lead dev of Escape from Tarkov himself. So I don't see why these massive features wouldn't end up making it into the game that he is creating. And in case you guys don't see the list of this stuff, it's the Karma system, grenade launchers, more intricate trading, explosives, heavy weapons, and more unique enemies, including now the Black Division. I'll get all this new info together and scour the community for anything that I might have missed here, but I was pretty thorough, so I think that's going to do it for today, guys. Let me know in the comments what you think of all these new developments and the raid series in general. This was the last episode, so do you think that they should continue this somehow? If you need more Tarkov news or content, then check out these playlists here. If you like this video, then you know the drill. Please subscribe. I really appreciate the people who do. Otherwise, I hope you at least learned something, and I also hope you have a nice day. See you guys.